Am I on? Good. <laughs> Joy. Joy is entering the golden the church when the golden light is streaming through the windows. Joy fills me when I enter and bow to the front and always pray the same prayer. Holy One, I give thanks for the presence of Christ in the Blessed Sacrament and for the community of saint faiths. Joy fills me when in a sermon there is a beautiful unexpected turn and Adam plunges us into a deeper awareness of God's immense love for us and for our world. Joy was the Christmas fair and seeing the church transfigurated by the display of quilts, some of them made especially for bi premature babies, all of them made with love. Joy was the baptism of Pam's grandchild. Joy is the presence of young people in our church. Joy is raising our voices in hymnody, especially when they are my favorites. Joy is when we are joined by Liz, our American Sign Language interpreter, and Dean and I worship as a family together with our daughter, Satinder, who is a deaf person. Joy is one of David's delicious cakes in coffee hour. Joy is the moment of the consecration of the bread and the wine. Joy is gathering around the altar to receive the Holy Communion. Joy is the transcendence I feel listening to Reuben's postlude. Joy is the rich diversity of our worship with Melanie and the afternoon congregation. Joy is the rich wit and wisdom of our faithful elders in coffee hour and in the online community. Joy overflows even into our parking lots where a new grandmother shows me the first pictures of her grandchild. Joy overflows into our coffee hour when we all burst into shared laughter. Joy is the open doors of our church. Such a scandal. They are open even during the week. Someone might sneak in and steal a prayer. Stewardship can be sometimes understood purely in financial terms. And what we are called to give is taken most seriously in our household. My wondering this morning is, how are we called to tithe joy within our spiritual community? And how are we called to tithe joy to God's weary, worn, and beautiful world. Personally, I believe we need to put away any tiny teaspoons. 
and to begin to use a large and a generous ladle to share the good no- news of our joy in Christ Jesus so that we might be a joy to God. May it be so.